Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and on this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can take one of these $3 candy cane garlands from Dollar Tree Plus and turn it into something else absolutely adorable. Today, we're gonna to make silverware pouches. Isn't it cute? So we're gonna be using this garland. We're gonna be using a Dollar Tree hula skirt for the raffia. We're gonna use some wood buttons that I got at um, Walmart and hot glue and a little bit of canvas duck cloth. Where did it go? Here it is. It's just your basic canvas. Um, so let me show you the projects that we've made already and then we'll jump right in. But as you're um, hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. If you feel like sprinkling, that would be awesome. Uh, here, let me turn this light off. Yeah, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, so the first day of making things with this adorable $3 candy cane garland was this. We made this super cute table runner that has the pom-poms that come in this garland kit glued to the ends, and this is just a piece of canvas stuff. So that was day one, and it turned out absolutely adorable. Day two was this. These were bowl fillers, and here's my little fall dough bowl. Isn't that just cute, 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 cute? Um, and I used a canvas stuck for the back of them, stuffed them, used that, this uh, hula skirt and the same buttons. Then the third day might have been the absolute cutest day. We made this stuffed and fluffed candy corn pillow and I stuffed the little candy corns with just some polyfill and glued the little pom-poms onto this pillow. Um, so I loved that day too. Oops. And today we're going to make these silverware pouches. And I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. You could also use this with um, plastic silverware. Okay. All right. So first thing you're going to do is open your Bag. If you don't, if you cannot find this at a Dollar Tree Plus, you can make something very similar with yellow, orange, and white burlap uh, fabric, something like that. And you can buy yellow and orange and white pom poms everywhere. So I know not every state has Dollar Tree Plus, and not everyone is able to find this. And for that, I'm awfully sorry. But when I saw these in my Dollar Tree store, I was like, that is the cutest thing ever. And I'm going to get it. And we're going to do like, I have at least five crafts planned. With these, we may keep going and do more. Okay, so to make the silverware pouch, you're just going to take your pieces off of the garland. Hang on to the pom-poms because you'll use those for something in the future. I'm also hanging on to this string because I might use that as well. Let me move this out of the way so I have some room here. Okay, and what I did to start out was I put my two candy corn pieces together and they're going to be... Uh, the back one is gonna be inside out, so it's gonna be in the inside. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Because it will be a little bit visible. Let me show you this one, see? Here's the front and here's the inside. And then I lined the back of it. Okay, so pick out what pieces you wanna use. And for $3, they're a little messy, so you might have to trim them up just a little bit. Trim off the strings or the frayed bits, okay? And for the front piece, I cut a corner off like this because I don't, I want my pouch to have, can you see this little angle right here? 
so you can get your silverware into it and so it can sort of lay on this and be visible. Okay, so this is my pattern. You can cut it as deep however you want. Um, and they don't all have to be exactly the same, but basically I'll show you. I'm cutting from the um, edge of the orange and I'm just taking this piece right here off. You see what I mean? And then take this back piece here off too. might just come unstitched. Yeah. So if you've made silverware pouches before, and I have, <laughs> out of multiple different kinds of things, then I'm sure you get the idea. So this is the front, and this is, these two pieces are going together like this, and then we'll line that. All right, and the first thing you wanna do is get your glue out. I'm using my low temperature hot glue gun. It's a sure bond or a cool shot. If you've been watching this channel for very long, you're probably sick, sick, sick of me talking about this, but it's low temperature and um, hot glue burns hurt. So there's just no reason to risk it. I'm gonna glue these li this little, where the um, string was in, I'm gonna just put a little glue in there and pinch it shut. Okay, and then I'm gonna glue these two together. So here's the front and here's the back. And let's just start at the bottom. You wanna go out to the edges as close as you possibly can so you have more room for your silverware in here. See, and I just got glue on my hand and it's not good, but it didn't even hurt. Where if it was hot, hot glue, that would be bad. Okay, so it's starting to come together. I'm gonna finish it up. And here's our little pal. And so if you look inside of it, you can see that it's candy corn all the way through to the bottom. Okay, now let's make the back for this. All I did was I just laid it on a piece of canvas deck and glued it to that and then trimmed it. So that's what we're gonna do. And for this part, it's good to get it as close to the edge as you can, but it's not as crucial. And I don't want to waste any canvas duck, so <laughs> find some more glue. I'll show you what I'm doing in just a second. So what do you guys think? Tell me what you think. Which project do you like the best? Did you like the table runner? Did you like the little um, dough bowl inserts or, or basket inserts? Or did you like the pillow? I'm super curious to know what you thought. And this is just to make the back of this look presentable. It doesn't really serve any purpose other than that. You can see how quick you can whip these out. I would make four, six, eight, twelve, however many you think you would need if you're going to have a special meal or if you're the type that likes to have your table set for the holidays, which is how I used to be. I am not a super huge food person. I don't really care that much about like Thanksgiving or a Christmas meal. What I love is the setting of the table part. So 
If you're the type that likes to have a pretty table set all the time, then you could whip some of these out pretty quickly and have them sitting out with the silverware in them just for everyone to admire all the time. Just a little bit better. Okay, here's the back. Now it's glued on. Here's the front and here's the little pocket. Hopefully this is all making sense. What do you guys think so far? Um, tell me also in the comments, this has been kind of fun to ask this question. Do you like candy cane, candy corn? Do you? I do. Uh, for me, it's dangerous though, because I have a sweet tooth for sure, and it's hard to stop eating candy corn for me. I shared a picture this week a few days ago of something that Hidden Valley, the company that makes ranch dress, ranch salad dressing, they make for a limited time each year um, a candy corn flavored dressing. So I shared a picture of that and it was funny, the comments. Uh, I think it sounds disgusting. I think candy corn in the little hard candy corns, the real brand, not the knockoff cheap ones is wonderful, but I don't think I would want to use candy corn dressing on a salad. Okay, so this is what these hula skirts look like. And you can just pull one of the little pieces off. And that is what we're going to use to make this cute little stuff on the front. If you have raffia, you can use that too. But this is so inexpensive. And anymore, raffia has gotten kind of expensive. I've noticed and then make it however big or small you want it to be I'm just folding it back and forth and back and forth I'm trying to remember how many times did I do that cut all my loops I'll trim this up okay and then I'm just going to take one of the long pieces that I cut off and I'm gonna tie the, a little knot around the tummy of this stack and then we'll trim it up. And you can, um, you could do a ribbon, you could do whatever you want if you don't like this look. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna trim it up a little bit because it's way long. And this is what it looks like. Let's see, I've still got some loops here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put some glue um, kind of right here, a blob. I'm gonna stick my little stack of hula skirt stuff on there. And fluff it out a little bit. I've got glue on my fingers again, so that's why it's so important to have a low temperature hot glue gun. So, this is the front and this is the back. It does not look too bad. It doesn't look super messy. If I had left this as the back of it, that to me looks un- finished. Um, okay, and then I'm just going to choose a button, which you could use any kind of button you want, or a bead, or nothing at all. Um, let's see, I've already got one that looks like that. Let's do that one. I want them to all have a different little button. These wood buttons here came from Walmart in their craft section. I'm just going to glue that on. And, dun -da -da, here is another silverware pouch. 
So what do you guys think? Pretty cute, huh? Now, if you cannot get this kind of a banner, and I know a lot of you can't, and I'm awfully sorry about that, but I have no control over which states have Dollar Tree Plus and which don't. <laughs> I wish I did. Uh, you can recreate this. You could use any kind of fabric that is mostly yellow, mostly orange, and most, or mostly white or ivory-ish. Uh, you can get a uh, burlap in different colors, that would work. And you can get the pom-poms for the other projects like the pillow. You can get pom-poms like this uh, at any craft or fabric store. So, whoops. Okay, so let me show you what these look like. Um, this is the one I just made. Get my glue strings off. And here's the one that I made before. And um, I think this would look super cute on a table that had a table runner on it like this to have this. You could also do a pom-pom on it if you wanted. That would be cute too. I'm trying to get more, a little bit more of a rustic, a rustic candy corn look. <laughs> if there is such a thing, this needs to go the other way. So tell me what you think in the comments. I have plans for tomorrow. I have another craft to show you using this same candy corn stuff. Um, but if you have ideas that I haven't done yet, um, tell me in the comments. I would love to know. And yeah, so that is pretty much what I wanted to show you. I'll get close-up pictures. If you guys have questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you liked this, feel free to sprinkle and all that good stuff. I am obsessed with candy corn. Well, really, I'm not even that obsessed with it. It's just... I bought this adorable banner garland thing at Dollar Tree and there's so many things that you could do with it. And you guys, let me tell you another secret. Today, when I was out doing some errands, I stopped by a Dollar Tree that I don't always go to and they had tons of their fall stuff. So I bought a bunch of it and I'm planning to show you that in the morning. Um, sometime Saturday morning, I'll come live and I'll show you all the stuff and give you tons of ideas of what I'm gonna do with the things that I found at my Dollar Tree Plus store. Um, I think everything I bought was $1.25. So if you have a regular Dollar Tree store, you should be able to find most, at some point, most of the things that I bought to show you tomorrow. I don't know what this means, but anyways, thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow. Take two seconds to see if you've liked and followed this page. Feel free to sprinkle. Uh, feel free to ask questions. All that normal good stuff. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. Did I use regular hot glue or, oh, let me answer a couple questions, or fabric hot glue? I used just regular low temperature hot glue because here's the thing. The fabric hot glue is a little bit more expensive and it's great for things that you're gonna wash, but you are just absolutely never gonna put this in the washing machine and wash it, right? It would come all apart. Uh, so why use the more expensive glue for something like this that you can just use regular low temperature hot glue for? So that's what I did. Um, I didn't see any other questions, but I'm going to go sit down in my comfy chair. Um, and I will look over all the comments. Feel free to sprinkle, uh, I'm seeing that lots of you have been able to find these garlands, 
which I'm excited because honestly, they are so absolutely adorable. Um, a lot of the things that we're doing, you could do with the burlap leaves that I purchased at Dollar Tree and I'll show you those tomorrow and we'll talk about that tomorrow. So it doesn't have to be candy corn. It could be something different. And uh, anyways, have a good afternoon. I'll see you guys tomorrow.